So enjoy the run. Hi everyone. Hi everyone. This is uh, Kirby and the Amazing Mirror Co-op. Yep. Uh, so uh, I'm cutting off the bit war right now. I need the color for uh, for Kirby. So what color came out? Well, um, the last two donations that came in, uh, one of $60 and one of $20, uh, both went to the color cherry. So oh. with $195, oh, no. You will be playing as Cherry Kirby. What have you guys done? It's Look okay, at this man. horrible color. It's okay, man. We'll manage. <laughs> Anyways, let's just get straight into this. So we're going to connect using the link cable. and luck, uh, But we only need one of them. So I guess without much further ado, we'll yep. start. Three, two, two one, go. So right at the start, we got a little bit of a tutorial section in the game where the game kind of teaches you how to use Kirby, but we already know, so we're just going to blaze through it side by side. It's one of the few moments you'll see is actually on the same screen. You'll also be noticing we are playing on two different languages. Uh, we're, I'm playing on German and Kinnan is playing on French. Shoutouts to, shout to the restreams. It doesn't actually matter at all for uh, the speed of the game. So uh, here we got a nice first Ooh, try mix. Awesome. Nice. So that mix is a four-frame window. Um, I think every spot in the wheel, aside from the last three, are four frames. So that's like a fifteenth of a second. Yup. Yo, got the bounce. Ah, you oh, did. <laughs> you got the double bounce. <laughs> so uh, right now. Um, we got Sniper Wave just speeding ahead with wheel, and I'll just try and catch up, but uh, I'll never be able to do that because wheel is incredibly fast. Ouch. And it's basically just a question of trying to uh, get to a certain part where I can get uh, a different ability. And then uh, we got a neat little mechanic in this game, which is called calling. Uh, you can call your friends and have them help out. Uh, Sadly, though, that also means summoning the idiots. Uh, that's the other two Kirby's. Uh, we lovingly call them the idiots because they're bad. They have both ruined multiple runs on different occasions. Like, they're, they're the worst in they, any they category. In we any c category, they will just be able to completely destroy your run. So now I got the ability I need, and uh, now I've got to wait for a call. And uh, while we wait, I can take a selfie. So, uh, audience, everyone, Let's get in on this selfie. Here we go. Say cheese! Cheese! There we go. And uh, I still have some more time, so I'm just gonna tweet it. There we go. Kinnan has to wait for about 45 seconds while I speed through what is most of Moonshine Man Moonlight Mansion. And I just hit a switch, which we both uh, see the cutscene of. They last like six seconds. Uh, I think the same goes for the boss shards that we collect. We are both forced to watch the cutscene, just to uh, let the game sink. There we go. Tweeted it out. And I still have time. It's amazing. You could have made a second tweet. Yeah, probably. Anyways, this is where a Sniper calls me. And the reason why he calls me is so that I can go up here. So with Missile, I can break through those blocks and go into this section while he finishes the first leg of the game. So you may you may see both of us like overshooting or under undershooting a few things. That is because this game is horribly unoptimized for multiplayer. Oh god, not like that. Go. That was not what's supposed to happen. <laughs> so that golem over there, um, I I was meant to actually just eat just the golem, but since the star bounced back, I could not get stone from him because this game works in a way where the Star of the first player happens uh, first, and then yeah. it just goes down the order. Yep. And that prioritizes any other ability you can get. Oh yeah, right, this is a boss. <laughs> you just completely forgot. Yeah, we always forget about him. He's just like so easy to beat. Uh, he's the first boss, and he's uh, kind of a wispy clone, but he's not really wisp wispy. 
Oh man, this is Mirror World. We don't have Wispies here. So, um, coming up next is something interesting. You might notice it really heavily on my uh, side of things is the frame rate is dropping. Don't worry, the stream is fine. This is normal. This is the game being the game. Uh, when you enter through a lot of mirrors, the game will lag quite increasingly uh, on the other players' side. And there's like a bunch of rooms that cause a lot of lag. So we'll be seeing more of the frame lags coming up. So a best part about the lag, if you are in the four laggiest rooms at the same time in a four-player co-op game, the game will desync and crash. It, it is quite amazing. Like this game is uh, made in quite a special way. So I just mixed for real, real quick. Real quick. It's, a, it's a nice little mix. Um, it's like a three tick, so it's just like tapping really quickly after I swallow it. It's a, it's a nice little mix. So the idea of the current route right now is that I'm uh, taking a very long route to uh, a boss out and I'm almost dying in the process. And while he's doing that, I will be unlocking a few doors just to make this a boss rush, basically. Yeah, because uh, this game is a Metroidvania style Kirby game, so a lot of things have to be unlocked. I'm pressing the button. Yeah, my input just got eaten oh, because nice. of that. You're welcome. It's, it's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Inputs are only suggestions in this game. But yeah, uh, because this is like the longest run towards the boss, it makes for a perfect moment to open up all the doors so we can um, get to all the other bosses. So and that makes the run nice and fast. So the jump I just did was very tight. Uh, it's actually harder than it looks. So Kirby's hitbox is slightly smaller uh, when he's not fluttering meaning you can barely jump past uh, the enemy I just did. And if you like start fluttering too early, you will get damaged and lose your wheel. Because unlike in most Kirby games, you actually like lose your ability 100% of the time when you get hit. Actually, it is most Kirby games. It is most? Yeah. It's only in, the, um, uh, in Kirby Superstar and Ultra and in the modern Kirby games where it's different. In almost every other Kirby game, you will lose your ability if you get hit. So you have to be very careful to go through. Uh, I'm in lag room. Oh no. So this is uh, this room we. Ah, oh damn! I lost the wheel. Uh, this room uh, we like to refer to as lag room because it lags even in single player. Um, can you imagine how bad it's gonna get in this oh, no. state? I'm also in like one of the worst rooms. What I'll do is tend to cause a lot of lag for like no reason at all. Yep. That wasn't actually too bad. But yeah, I lost wheel, so I'm gonna lose a bit of time, uh, which might destroy our sink a little bit. And I have to fight Master Hand with uh, a bad ability. Ah! Whenever Master Hand does like the open hand like that, um, he intends to like grab you, and whenever he grabs you, you lose so much time. It's probably the slowest attack to get hit by. And that, like that, basically. It's not fun. Anyways, I'm gonna grab up Smash as a uh, backup. It's actually called Super Smash in French, and in German it's actually called Super Smash Brothers Melee. Yeah, it uses the SSBM abbreviation. It's 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 weird. Shout Don't outs. ask. <laughs> Shoutouts to Saboom. <laughs> I actually don't care about losing wheel here. Uh, there's only one more screen and then I have to swap ability to stone. Go. Do we have time for a couple quick donations? We yeah, do. Sure. All right. Uh, we have a $33 donation from Zogaw with no comment. Thank you for your donation. And $20 from Wombrax saying, hey everyone, thanks for an amazing week with uh -oh. loads of entertaining runs. That's fine. So another thing with these switches is that they restore your health to full. Uh, so we just tend to hit switches every now and then just to regain our health. As you can also see that the red Kirby um, has a magic ability. Oh no. Yeah, yeah exactly. 
So that can randomly do a few things on our screen. That can include giving us a uh, candy power-up, meaning that we are invincible and go a little faster. But it can also just spawn Meta Knight and prevent us from moving for about 3 seconds. It is really horrible. Yep, it has killed some runs before just because it forced us into a ravine. So I'm finally coming up to my first boss. I know it took a while, but... Uh, here we have the amazing Super Smash Brothers fight against Monster Hand and Crazy Hand. Ask Kirby. I'm gonna switch into stone real quick, because stone is just too overpowered for bosses. And while he's killing the hands, I'm off to... Which is something that we might consider as the worst boss in the game. Yeah. Which is Moly, or Topar. With Moly, it's like a lot of randomness involved, so we really try and kill him quickly if we get lucky. The thing about bosses in this game, actually, in co-op, is that they actually have slightly more health than uh, normal. So they become a little bit harder to kill, and Moly even more so, because you have to deal with more randomness than normal. Yeah, you can one cycle on the, uh, the best pattern. I'm not as lucky. Hello, Moly, please. is being a dingus. There we go. Yay! So Moly has um, an actual unbeatable pattern for our ability. He could theoretically just pop up and do nothing as many times as he wants. <laughs> yeah. And I think we've had a run where we had to wait like a full minute before he even did something. It is, uh, it is quite special. So this here is uh, the cannon room. Uh, right at the start you saw me uh, inhale my uh, ability. Uh, I do this because every time you get hit here, uh, well, you can get hit here a lot, and you will instantly lose your ability if you do so. Uh, however, by uh, keeping it in your mouth, uh, you will not lose it when you get hit. Sorry for dying. my lag. Uh, it's okay. And uh, that cannon room is kind of hard because of uh, the input delay and the mirror lag. And because I'm at one health, I'm gonna grab this safety potion. And while he's doing that, I'm heading off to another boss, which is in the ever so dreaded water level of this game. Yep. Prepare for a lot of lag. Gonna run over here. Oh, there we go. So luckily, uh, for this cannon section, I don't have to hold anything, I just have to wait for the cannons to fire me all the way where I want to be. And along the way, there's actually a maximum to tomato, so that's nice. A little health refill. This, this boss that he's doing is also completely broken with wheel. So yeah, this is Mega Titan. Um, the idea is that you, in the first phase, you push him into the sides of uh, the level. And uh, you do that four times, and then his head pops out, and then you have to try and kill his head, which like bops up and down. Uh, but luckily with Wheel, you can just jump into it and do crazy stuff. At the beginning, if you delay or jump a little, you will knock him back instead of forward for some reason. It's just because of the how the hitbox of the Titan works. Yep, that was not too best on the Titan head, but still pretty okay. And look at this beautiful mirror pattern. Uh, that was completely accidental when we routed it. Uh, it just happened and we were like, oh, oh that's, that's absolutely neat. beautiful. <laughs> I like that. Tempting a pretty hard skip. It's the only known glitch in the game, so um, I will be calling the idiots for that. But since Kinnon's not picking up, I'll just have to do it with two. Good luck. We're gonna need it. So, so we shall be abusing this idiot for a while. I'm gonna yeah. try and pull him underneath me and then do a B up while I'm shortly standing on him. It is a frame-perfect trick on 60 FPS, so um, there's like a small chance to get <laughs> to just fail it. They are not cooperating. There we go. That trick is harder than it looks. Yeah, I've been having a lot of trouble with it today. So the, the way that works is when you step on a Kirby, you usually just have a frame to bounce off. But that in that position, you're, the game thinks you are standing still, meaning you can use the normal abilities. Including a B up, in, uh, and with that we just hit the, bo the the bomb tile. So I'm about to enter one of the other lag rooms, and you might be able to see why. 
we call this another lag room. Nice, nice frame rate. Nice frame rate game. Amazing. And now the game's completely fine. It, it, it really is just tied to some rooms for some reason, and it really gets to him on my nerves sometimes. And like, the, own, the, the bad part is that the game, like, the next second is just completely fine. It just acts like nothing happened. So here we, we get the fight against another Master Hand, because, well, I haven't seen enough of those, have I? Oh, that was perfect. Nice. That was a really good fight. Don't often get lucky like that. So yeah, we're both just like traveling to bosses right now. Uh, but my travel is going to take a little bit longer than his, uh, which kind of makes uh, makes for a really interesting strat that we're going to use in a bit. So keep yeah, your eyes out for that. I should be enough to make it. Yeah. It's like one more screen off of the uh, the boss here. Yeah, I might have to wait a little bit, but we'll be fine. Yeah, we'll we'll, be, we'll definitely be showing that one off. Go. Actually, gonna take the tomato just for safety. Yeah. I've been very much been annoyed by Meta Knight in practice. Oh hey, we got blessed by an invincibility candy. That's absolutely useless. So yeah, I'm just gonna wait for uh, Sniper to finish this boss. Which is Gobbler or Pirator in German. Nice moment to take a drink. He is Stay so hydrated, jumpy. kids. There he has we been go. Incredibly jumpy for some reason, like in all of ESA. L usually he just stands still and you can just almost one shot him. Yeah. But he's just not been cooperating. He's just been going back and forth. You can probably enter. Yep. So here I call Sniper. And then I'll leave. Ends out. Bye! Have fun! Oh god, which one is mine? Oh no. <laughs> no. Good luck with the idiots. <laughs> no, like the idiot lost his star, so I'm gonna have to do it with Parasol. Oh my god. Oh no. Meta Knight, why? Uh, you can grab a sword from his stars. Oh, that's good to know. I'm gonna need one of those. Please, Meta Knight, cooperate. Oh no. Yep. Oh. That, was, that was rough. So the idea is that I enter it with a stone ability, meaning that I can just go ham on him, but since I lost it and got a star from the partners, I will actually have to do it with sword. Also, Meta Knight has a random chance to block every single attack, and once he blocks, he will block all consecutive attacks as well. It's really obnoxious. There, there we, we go. go. That was rough. <laughs> Sorry! It's totally your out. It is. And I regret every single bit of it. <laughs> This route has become incredibly tight on the timings. Yeah. Like, and the thing is that it is a co-op run, meaning that these small mistakes compound like a lot faster, and you'll notice it a lot more. Oh. So right now I'm in the lava la uh, section of the game, and this is where it gets a little dicey. I have to make sure that I don't make any mistakes because I can quite easily lose my wheel if I do like that. Oh gosh. I need that, thank you. And I got another Shadow Kirby. Ah. Uh, with that Shadow Kirby it actually matters uh, what you get from him. Um, if you get a invincibility candy, uh, this mid boss fight goes a lot faster. But it's still just fine with stone. Oh, I have to wait a bit now. <laughs> like that. And then I'll be off to uh, my final boss. And w while he's doing that, I will be in the ice world. Almost being done with it. Um, I shall also be fighting my own Ow. boss. Usually we sync up if like nothing goes wrong. Yeah. We'll just sync up perfectly. Um, 
and we'll just go into the final boss from there. I'm getting kind of unlucky on Krakow. So with Krakow he does a certain set of moves and I really like it when he does this one because then you can just really quickly do beat him. I'm just gonna grab the shark. Yeah, that's okay. If you wanna call me, you can call me. Uh, you, if you can get stone, then that'd be optimal. Or do you still have it? I still have it. Nice. Okay. So that was Krakow. That's also like a nice thing in co-op. You can just, if you lose something, you can just call the, the partner and you'll just be fine. So this is Wiz. Uh, he is a dingus sometimes. Yeah, he randomly jumps around uh, the screen. And uh, you kind of just have to hope you don't get hit by him. You can actually die in uh, co-op. See, if you run six times uh, right through you, and you can do nothing about it with the strats we currently use. God damn. And you will just lose your life. Oh, I'm excited when I'm doing this. With the power of teamwork, we shall fix this mirror. Oh, oops. <laughs> yeah, I did all the work there. Yeah, Kinnan's just doing everything here. And now we got a nice little four-player dance with the worst Kirby color ever. Oh my god. Why did you hey, guys hey. donate for this? Every Kirby is a cute Kirby, Kinnan. The bad part is that it, it puts the idiots in the hub. Uh, we don't want that. So we're just gonna call them into uh, that little room so we can quickly... Uh, get them out of the way. Now, up next, uh, we're gonna fight against another Meta Knight. And another Meta Knight? Wait, there's another one? Yeah. Th this is Dark Meta Knight. Uh, he is the Mirror World's ke uh, Meta Knight, and we're gonna stone him to death. Because he, he is a heretic. Oh, thank you. Now, he is basically just as annoying as regular Meta Knight. But we just have to try and get lucky there. Boop. And float and we'll in the here for a bit. This actually saves like a negligible amount of time, but it's yeah. time saved, so we do it. Plus, and it, it looks, looks fun. Sweet. So, uh. We find this sword here. And, uh. Create a double star. So, um. This is Dark Mind. The final boss of the game. That was Dark Mind. Wait, there's more? I wonder. Hmm. I, I wonder, wonder what's up next. So, uh, there's a sword here. And, uh, um, hey, look. This is, uh, <laughs> this is Dark, Dark Mind. Mind. The final boss of the game. And that was Dark Mind. The final boss of the game. <laughs> Wait, another room? Damn. What is how, this? How many extras did they put in this game? So much extra content. And I don't, I don't feel stone right now. I think like it's, it's just doing nothing. Uh, I'm gonna get this sword. Well, I'll just, I'm just gonna grab this sword again. Oh hey, look, it's so, dark mind. Uh, yeah, the dark mind of the game, the dark, well, the, the dark final mind boss of the game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, my mind is the dark mind of the game right now. Wait, another room? What is going on? How many rooms did they put in here, dude? Oh, hey, look, it's a sword. Three, two, one, drop. So, um, this is Dark Mind, the final boss of the game. This one's actually relevant. Uh, he survives a star, and then we want him to shoot green stars at us. Just there so we can mix UFO. Yeah. Which is making the next phase a lot easier. What do you mean? This is the final boss of the game. It is, but, you know. So yeah, we have to wait a little bit for green stars. So green stars give you automatic mixes, and uh, we already know the real really well there, or where it starts at least, so we can quite easily guess what we need to do. No, I didn't get it. I wasn't sure. But we're not getting lucky here, because it's completely random what color starts. Okay, I gotta focus. Nice! nice. And that was Dark Mind. The final boss of the game.
I mean, the screen's going white. I mean, yeah. Since we're done, right? Oh. Oh no. Um. So um, th th this, this is, is uh, um, yeah. actual dark mind. This is yeah, actual dark mind. He is, uh, uh, he is the actual final boss of the game. So here with a UFO, uh, we can just quite easily shoot his eye and deal a lot of damage. Oh, I was afraid of that. He likes to use mirrors. Ow! So UFO makes this fight a lot faster. Um, we can if, still use sword in, uh, in the at least. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Just grab, grab UFO. Uh, yeah, sure. I'm at one health as well, so I'm yeah. actually gonna drop it just to read. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, well, okay, rip. Oh, wait, it kept the UFO. Drop it, drop it! Oh, head. Oh, backup strats, let's go. Yeah, so now we just have to. Oh, well, you can call, well, let's call the idiots, I guess. Yep. Call the idiots? Yep. Okay, let's call in the idiots. There we go. Look at that, they're all here. Everyone is here. <laughs> this is basically Smash. Oh, and, and they're out. And they're out. And they're out. Oh, bye. So far for their help. And this is why we call them the idiots. Yeah. Usually this goes a little better. Yeah, usually we get to keep Ufo. Oh, there he is. But Rip luckily after a small while we get the Master Sword back. And yes, it's called Master. Maishta. That he likes his ability. lasers. You, you can actually order them in that pattern. Um, just tend to. Uh, oh my. <laughs> this is uh, a little embarrassing. This is uh, <laughs> quite, the, quite the fight. Yeah. Ooh, we're gonna get a crush here. Actually, you know what? Hello, welcome back, idiots. And that does nothing. Dark Mind's actually immune to crash. Is he? he I is. didn't know that. I've never tried it, so. It's because of the way the bombs are coded. They're basically counted as a crash against us. One more. Yeah. There we and go. That was Dark Mind. Final, Final boss of the, of the game. game. Oh, hey, my tweet came up. Oh, hey, look at that. <laughs> That's neat. So, um... He's, uh, he's still there. Yeah. That's this a problem. Is, uh, this is a big problem. That's just quite something indeed. I guess we have to do something about it, don't we? So uh, this is Dark Mind, the actual factual final boss of the game. Uh, time is coming up. Uh, it is on the final hit on this boss. Just have to ram the button. It's basically a shoot em up. So yeah, because it's a Kirby game, we have to have a shoot em up right at the end here. Oh, it's going quite fast actually. And time! Yeah! Oh. Let's go! I can't see the time. And that was Dark Mind, the actual yeah. final boss of the game. Yeah. 26, so, uh, 30, 43. Oh, that's not bad at all. Underestimate. <laughs> For what kind of things happen. So yeah, uh, at the end of the game you usually get these kind of uh, random things happening that just completely destroy the entire run. Um, but yeah. Um, Please do not play this game in co-op. It, it sucks. It is. Um, it is quite something. Please do play the game uh, by yourself. It is a really fun speed game and really enjoyable. And shoutouts to Swordsman Kirby for making the first iteration of the co-op route and also running it. We have like, Gravel Crusher. Yep. He also definitely deserves a shoutout. Definitely. And thank you for and thank you to the Kirby community for being as awesome as always. And. Uh, Thank you for having us.